Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I want to share with you today my absolutely madness journal I made. I don't know what possessed me to do this, but I just couldn't stop. I love it. It is nine and a half by six by six and a half. Yeah, I went crazy. Look, it is chunky. But anyway, if you've never had a chance to buy a kit from Safia, um, you need to get one. And I do believe the fly is selling them tomorrow for her. She's in India, and she imports the stuff here to certain people who sell for her. And I just happened to luck out and get one from the junk journal shop this time. They do go fast. They really do. She sells on her channel as well. But it just takes you longer to get it because she has to import it. But anyway, this has a conglomeration of things in it. Most all of the fabrics and trims came from Sapia. Um, this is a digital kit here, the pictures. I have glue on my fingers. And I have some fabric covering. And then I have the spine decorated with still more stuff from her kit. And let's see if I can get both pages in at once. That would be nice. So this came with um, the August kit from the Rusty Peacock, which happened to be India this month. And I said, well, that might just be with the final nail I need to do my journal. Well, I already had enough stuff. I just kept going crazy. These are the canter quilts. And I just made a couple of little tall tags to stick in it. And here I used the fabric and just use them as tuck spots to stick things in. And you guys know I normally don't decorate a journal fully. I went crazy on this one. Here I just made some wallpaper tall envelopes and put some tags on them. I just had fun with this one. Here's another one that has a tag in it. And this is also made from wallpaper. Um, this is a, um, no, this is a paper bag. This is a paper bag, double pocket. And an envelope with just some little cards in it. And to be honest with you, and this one has three tags in it. I don't remember who all's kits are in here. But there is a huge mixture of different people. So here's another envelope. And here's just a little thing I like to do in the, my commission journals and this is just a little ribbon and you take a piece of paper and you fold it up to fit in the ribbon I've actually never done this on a public sale journal I've done them in my commission journals so I decided what the heck I do one I'm not really sure yet if I will list this on Etsy or how I will sell this one. I'm having some issues with Etsy right now, again. Here's another one of the wallpaper envelopes with the tags in it. And more of the fabric for the pocket. Here's an applique with a couple of tags and journal cards. This is wallpaper with just a journal card. Uh, this is from one of the digis. These two are from one of the digis. And it's just got different little journal cards, tags. Um, same here. And I put dangles anywhere I could. <laughs> this bag actually came from buying the tassel, which I don't think I showed you. Anyway, this came from um, Christy Biddleston. And the, tass the dangles were in it. And I just put a couple of tags in it. This is not glued down, so it can be removed and used for whatever you want. This isn't glued down. This is a CD case. 
and I just stuck it, you know, with some tags and different things, um, journaling cards, tags, a couple little tags in here, and this came from the kit from Safia, Safia. journaling card, um, one of the little, yeah, one of these ruffles, and I just love the colors, and I thought, well, that would go good with boho. And I didn't order it expecting that. And, of course, I had to put a couple pieces of vintage ephemera in here. Because, well, I just do vintage. This one is not glued down. This one is. And I love the colors. I thought they went well with boho. So I put them in here. But they're blank note cards to write on. And here's the envelope with some ephemera in it. And another little dangle. Um, just a blank note card, another one of the ruffles, just a card, a tag, and another decorated paper clip. Here's another piece of the sorry trim, and just turned it into a little pocket. Some of the uh, decals, and this is a paper bag. It's a pocket here and a pocket here with a matchbook inside of it for note cards. Just a little journal spaces using up some scraps I had. And here's another one of the folded papers and a ribbon. Um, these are just two little journaling cards with dangles and a decorated paper clip and I put two pieces of the ephemera on the appliques on the journaling cards um, just a folded piece of paper in a paper clip and this is just a scrap piece of paper and it's one of the appliques is a tuck spot um, this is a paper bag with ephemera in it some tags. This is an envelope with some uh, ephemera in it and a butterfly paper clip. Just a little journaling card. This is another tuck spot with a couple of journaling cards stuck in it. And this is just a writing page. This is another envelope with ephemera in it and it's got a dangle on it and a decorated paper clip. Just an applique, a belly band with a folded paper and a decorated paper clip. A couple of journaling cards, another decorated paper clip. Um, this is another one of the appliques and just a jewel on the top. Um, the spine is wide because I had to I had to expand the spine more than I had planned, and it's still alligator mouth. This is a paper bag that has a firmer in it and a tag. There's another one of the ribbon tuck spots. This is a paper bag that has different ephemera inside of it and tags and so forth. It's a double pocket. There's another paper bag. This is a double pocket loaded. Um, just a little journaling card with a decorated paper clip. Another bag with tags. A tuck spot with a little journaling card. Um, this is just a collaged envelope with a tag inside of it. And I just put these two little circles here because I had them cut out and thought they would be cute to use as just extra little hidden note that you could put in there. Um, these are a couple of little journal cards. <coughs> this is paper that I glued to um, cardstock to make a little journaling card. And I do believe the back side, yeah, the back side has the same one. And I have a little bit of glue here. This is um, just paper folded three times and put in. 
to the little journaling card. Some of the um, trim. And I have a feather charm on this one. Just some of the trim in the kit. Another decorated paper clip holding in a bag with some journaling cards in it. And here I just put this piece of sorry in. And this is a tuck spot. I didn't put anything in that one. And because I just liked the way the page looked without putting any decorated tag on it. Here's another journaling card, a peace charm, um, some more journaling cards, journaling cards, here's a little tuck spot down here with, and this came from Rosemary's kit. Here's another journaling card, a belly band with a calendar from 1917, and a journaling card. Um, this is just a little fold down. And just a little page to write on. And it's just got a little tuck spot here to keep it laying down flat. Another tuck spot. Um, just a little tuck spot with writing paper, a ribbon, and just two blank pages with the ephemera on it, the applique. And these came from the Boho kit, and I think, I'm almost sure this is uh, Steps. But I'm not sure, but I think so. Um, this one I just decorated the page border. And this is just some scrap paper put in there to doodle on. And here's another one of my fold-out journal pages that I like to put in journals. And this one is not, a t is not glued down, it's just attached with a decorated paper clip with a piece of the yeah that thing this is a belly band just put that in there because I like the colors on it and here's another tuck spot with another matchbook in it and it just has scrap paper in this one as well and they put a little uh flower bread on that one. I just like the way it looked. And again, just some more of the trim. It's just a um, the other lady in the ball mason jar. And here I put the library card on the back page and I have two tags and I just realized I have not stamped this yet, so the stamp will go down here. So, and this is another piece of the envelope from Rosemary's kit. Needless to say, I got carried away. But I have fun making it, and that's what matters. And I'm getting ready to start a nautical one and a grandma's kitchen one. So, I hope I don't get as carried away. Because these are just too big. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you got some ideas. Oh, let me show you the dangle real quick. This is from uh, Meta Studios on Etsy. And she makes journal dangles. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's got a crystal. Each one has a charm on it. There's one, two, three, four, five strands in here and this is her dot art painting she does so yeah I mean she just she puts a personal touch on all of them and I just love it I love the colors as soon as I saw it I said that's the one I need for the boho journal and I've been collecting stuff for a while to do this and like I said I probably still have enough stuff out of Sophia's kit to do maybe 10 more. So yeah you get more than your money's worth from those kits. And too I guess it depends on who's selling them because I mean the price I paid for this one was way way worth it. Because like I said I probably can do 
10 projects out of it, if not more. So yeah, check it out, and you know, if you get a chance to buy one of her kits, jump on them. They're well worth the money. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.